There it is, another rep. Oh man. Short of breath for about 15 minutes after this set. It just goes to show you what sort of oxygen dead you go into when you're doing these MRAP sets. Man, you don't even know how much oxygen you need to replenish that type of effort. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy until you do it and then you really feel it and you're like, damn, I've done a lot of work. You know, so people go on like 15, 20 minute runs um, to get this type of debt of oxygen, you know, continuously breathing to replenish, but you do one minute of freaking work. And then for the next 15 minutes, you're not still a baseline. I'm still not a baseline. I don't know how many minutes it's been now. Probably I was more short of breath than uh, I would have been if it wasn't for the damn stench. My God. So today is a bin collection day for my suburb. Rubbish bin. And this morning, for some reason, it was stinking like crazy. And we've got a five month old at home, so dirty nappies go in there, all sorts goes in there. Uh, so something must have leaked, something must have happened, and fly galore and whatnot. So I've opened the garage, got the freaking stench in my face right away. I looked over and I was like, man. I do not want to go digging through that to clean it, so might as well just wait for the freaking rubbish truck. The guy pulls up, um, probably just before my 160 kilo set, still warm up. Uh, and then so he parks his truck right in front of the house and he decides to have a break, which is fair enough. Uh, so he parks his truck and then I hear an ambulance maybe like two or three minutes afterwards and I thought, damn, is he all right? So I head out there, I was, I was half expecting him to be in trouble. You know, a lot of these guys that drive trucks, man, they're not in good shape, sit for a living. Uh, a lot of central obesity. I mean, this is very, very, you know, bad risk factor for acute coronary syndrome and heart disease and whatnot. So I was kind of like half expecting him to be in trouble because I never see a truck pull up in front of my house and just stop. He turned the truck off. So I thought maybe he's in trouble. So I head out there to see what, what's up. And uh, as soon as I walked up, he was like, hey, mate. I was like, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. He's, I can see he's eating his meal. And I thought, God damn. This brother's eating his meal next to the bin of stench. And he hadn't picked it up yet. He hadn't put it at the back yet. And I'm like, man, this guy has conditioned himself to be around so much stench that he doesn't even get bothered by it. I mean, I'm a nurse, man. I've, I've smelled some crap before in my life, man. But this is next level. There's maggots all over the bin and whatnot. Like, it, it just looks bad. Um, and he's sitting there, you know, window next to the bin, just eating his meal. I'm thinking, damn, this guy is a beast. So that kind of motivated me to go back into the gym and give everything I got for the 180. You know, this guy's eating a damn meal. You know, what's harder, eating a meal or doing a 180 kilo squat in stench? So I thought, yeah, all right, let's do it. He was stinking. So I got 11. This time around, I was, I had a different plan. I thought, okay. There's a few guys in the comments who are saying, oh, Ivan, you know, it's so easy when you take, you know, two minutes to do these MRAP sets. It's so easy. It's so easy when you rest so much in between reps. Tell me you don't know lifting without telling me you don't know lifting by saying something like that. You say something like that, I know exactly that you've never done an MRAP set like this. If you think you are resting with 100 kilos on your back and you're huffing and puffing, if you think that's a rest, you are out of your mind or, or you're just simply just trolling because it is very difficult. The longer the seconds go in this set, the harder it is for you to get the next rep. Make no mistake about it. You don't believe me? Try it. Try it. So this time around, I was like, okay, let me try and get more reps by being quicker. Notice what I'm saying here? I'm not saying being slower. No, no, no. I want to be quicker. So I try to be quicker this, um, this set. So I went to myself, okay, do three really fast. Two deep breaths, do another three really fast, and then do another set of two, and then go one, 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 one. That's what I did. So I got 11 reps today uh, because I had a different strategy, I felt. I felt I got, you know, to six reps fairly quickly, whereas previously I would, you know, every rep would get a breath. So one, two, three, you know what I mean? Like, so that, that really prolongs the set. So, to your complete contrary for, for, for the guy that's saying it in the comments, oh, this is not even counting, this is not going to work. I've done the exact opposite to what you're doing and I'm finding it easier. So, you know, whatever, you know. Just goes to show you there's a lot of these guys in the comments who've never properly lifted and they just go around trying to make people, you know, 
mad or put people down or whatever or you know this 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 is the world we live in you know there's not to say there's majority it's the minority um the majority of fellas have been absolutely uh, uh beasts absolute support uh and i and i really really um appreciate that lots of lots of really cool smart ideas um the only reason i'm mentioning this one negative one and i try not to mention the negative ones is because i did exactly opposite to what he was talking about and so i, I don't know I, I thought it was worth a mention amrap sets or breathing squats are very very difficult and if you are trying to get as many repetitions as possible it is in your best interest to make that shit as soon as possible you do not want to be underweight trust me trust me on that uh so i got 11 today real real happy uh and every breath was filled with stench from the bin glorious stench from the bin and part of me was like after they said thinking about it like okay so in terms of oxygen percentage right if i had to put an oxygen percentage you know per breath you know so uh you know 21 percent is what we breathe or is it 20.9 percent of every breath that we draw from the atmosphere it's um it is uh, oxygen. The rest is like nitrogen and there's all the other stuff. Uh, so, you, you know, for people that are thinking it's mostly oxygen, it's not. But in, when you're breathing the stench, that probably oxygen is probably lower. I'm assuming. I don't really know what's in the stench. Probably more nitrogen. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so maybe you don't need as much oxygen as you think. Clearly you do. But anyway, I don't know. The, uh, probably the other bigger factor today was that it's quite cool today. When I say cool, it's not 35 degrees. It's probably like 20, I don't know, 22, 23 degrees right now. So that makes it a lot better, you know. So I've dropped the temperature in, in, the, in the variables of, of the environment today. And I've upped the freaking stench. Um, I mean, usually I don't have stench. So as soon as I finish with this uh, recording, I'm going to head out there and I'm going to try and freaking fight off the 100 flies and, and put something in the bin to, to, to kill the maggots and all the stench and, and all the juice at the bottom. Disgusting. Uh, so it's going well, you know, so I'm, I'm setting the, I'm, I'm, I'm clawing my way to 20. Um, the one thing that I've, that I've kind of been thinking about, I've kind of already spoken about it, is the oxygen. What do you do with breathing? What do you do with breathing? So in the first three or four reps, you can kind of get with one, one breath. The trouble with holding your breath for too long is that I feel like I'm going to blow my freaking brain off. Like I feel like the blood pressure goes too high for too long. And you get dizzy and you don't want to get dizzy and I, i'm not even sure it's really good for you to, to strain for such a long time so you need to understand when you're doing valsalva maneuver you know there's a lot of blood pressure in the system you know so you don't want to blow a vessel in your brain or freaking you know cause yourself an aneurysm or something like that so this is something to, to, to consider so even though i was kind of going quick the first three reps i took a big breath initially and then I was doing like half breaths in between those uh, uh, reps. So I was kind of breathing. It's not ideal. Uh, but because I'm not working with one rep max and I'm not working with one rep, I, I, I need to breathe, right? I, and, and I'm trading off some of that core stability, core tightening for lowering the blood pressure, right? Because you can't. You, you simply can't sustain one breath for four or five reps. It's too much. So that's something to consider as well. So you need a bit of a plan when you go into these M-rep sets. Um, and I feel like I'm starting to work out exactly how to go about it. You don't need big breaths every rep. That's what I'm working out. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.